Welcome back to the Evolution of Gaming series, where we explore the timeline of how this turned into this. Jet Set Radio 2000 Jet Set Radio, which was also named Jet Grind Radio for North America's release, was released in the summer of 2000 by Sega on the Dreamcast. For its time, Jet Set Radio was considered one of the best games ever released due to its cell shaded graphics, fun gameplay, and fantastic soundtracks. As a member of the GG's gang, gameplay revolves around the three different level objectives, Street, Rival Showdown, and Trial. Completing these levels will unlock more characters for you to pick from, as well as to progress the story. The game itself was developed by a small team with an average age of under 25, which likely helped to shape and influence the artistic pop culture direction the game managed to find itself in. The North American and PAL versions contained two new maps, two new songs, and other in-game content, designed to increase the game's appeal to Western audiences. To promote the North America release, Sega America held a Graffiti is Art competition for contestants to enter their own graffiti art pieces to Sega. Jet Set Radio Future 2002 Jet Set Radio Future was released just two years after the original game by the same developer and publisher. Rather than a continuation of its predecessor, Jet Set Radio Future was a reimagining of the original with improved graphics, updated gameplay, bigger environments, and multiplayer capabilities. The game itself plays similarly to the original, but with a lot more freedom. You are tasked with searching for graffiti tags left by other rival gangs and to spray over them. The great thing about Future is that due to the increased capabilities of the Xbox, the time-limited maps weren't continued from the Dreamcast version. While the game received amazing reviews by critics worldwide, sales weren't great, with only 80,000 units sold within the first six months in the US and 28,000 in Japan. Having said that, a lot of Xbox consoles had Jet Set Radio Future bundled with it, which may explain the lack of individual sales. In 2020, lead designer Kazuki Hosokawa told US Gamer that he and his team were too old and experienced to create a new Jet Set Radio game with the same energy as the original. This is sad news for fans, as we may never see a legitimate sequel for this game. Jet Set Radio Game Boy Advance 2004 The Game Boy version of Jet Set Radio is based off the original game, but has a few differences due to obvious hardware limitations of the handheld console. The most notable is the fact that the game is 2D, but utilizes an isometric viewpoint. Jet Set Radio was developed by Vicarious Visions, who previously developed the Game Boy Advance version of Tony Hawk Pro Skater, and was published by THQ. The game utilizes the same engine and isometric perspective as the Tony Hawk Pro Skater games, likely making them the perfect candidate to bring the GGs to the handheld system. The game was praised among critics due to the game's presentation and accuracy to the original Dreamcast version. Jet Set Radio HD 2012 while we may never see a sequel to Jet Set Radio, we did at least get a HD remaster. High definition ports were released for Jet Set Radio on the PS3, Xbox 360, PC, PS Vita, and mobile devices. These ports added HD graphics, online leaderboards, achievements, and a much needed new camera system. Hopefully in the future we'll receive a HD remaster of Jet Set Radio Future, but in the meantime, Avid fans have produced an online version of Jet Set Radio that you can play on your PC. As you can probably guess though, this version is not endorsed by Sega. 